Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sai from Malayala. So today is 10th June 2024 and officially Josa 2024 is going to start from today. So you have to start registering from today and then you have to fill the choices. Then the counseling process will start. So I'm going to explain you the schedule in detail. So you'll understand uh, most of the part of Josa counseling uh, in a clear way. So, okay. And uh, if you are someone who is participating in JOSA and you are looking for someone to help you throughout the process, we are here to help you guys. So we are offering a mentorship program at triple nine rupees. It's going to increase soon. So if you want to uh, buy or if you want to join in the discounted price, do check out the payment link in the description. So in the mentorship program, you will be assigned with a mentor who will be guiding you, you throughout the counseling process from A to Z. Uh, in each and every part like choice filling uh, like giving you deadlines and is helping you during document verification how to upload where to upload what to upload all these things will be clarified to you and i have the mentors who have experience since last two to three years so we have been doing this since last four years so these are fourth year right okay so if you are someone who is interested to join that mentorship program do check out the payment link in the description once after paying within 24 hours you will be added to the whatsapp group and you will be assigned a separate mentor i don't call them a mentor you will be assigned with separate your elder brother or elder sister to you so who will be guiding you throughout the counseling process right so chalo check out that link and uh, yeah let's move on to the video so uh, today's date is uh, 10th june 2024 monday right and uh, the josa counseling is going to start officially so let's uh, see what all you have to do step by step date wise everything clearly right okay so yesterday uh, they have given the je advanced results right so after that today 10th june at 5 pm they are going to start the registration but mostly i'll make a separate video regarding registration do check out do wait for that so if you want to watch that separate video so do subscribe my channel and click on bell icon so that you will not miss out on any updates related to josa counseling so at five o'clock registration will start and this year there is a one new change and very important change in the interest of students so to help students they have started pre-payment of josa seat acceptance fee starts so usually whenever seat allots then they will open this pre uh, like pay payment for josa seat acceptance fee so like but now from now this year they have started now itself the reason is la last year when they opened it lots of students faced issues after that like every like lots of people will pay the fees right whoever gets seat allotment in order to move for the next round so few people few people's payment got uh, declined and it got stuck and all these issues have happened so that's the reason they started from now so if you're someone who feel that you surely get that seat in that case go for this pre-payment of seat acceptance fee so that later on there won't be an issue so if you pay now from today till the last date of the counseling fee payment last round counseling fee payment last date this will be opened so whenever you want you can pay even if it's before the seat, your seat allotment or after seat allotment it's up to you but before the deadline if you get in first round there will be last round last day to pay before first round so before that you can pay from today okay so yeah that's more about uh, prepayment and uh, yeah uh, as as i said so the uh, counseling is uh, registration is going to start from 10th june and if you're someone who is into architecture aptitude test so, so that is going to, going to start from june 14th so please observe that thing okay and saturday 15th june 2 pm afternoon 2 they will be displaying mock seat allocation mock round one so mock round one is nothing but so based on the choices you fill till june 14 8 pm in the night so based on that so for example you have filled 10 choices till there so based on those 10 choices and your rank they will allot a one dummy allotment like a duplicate so just like that they will show you based on your rank and based on your choices choices filled so what are you getting so based on the allotment you get on second uh, 2 pm and 15 june you have to see whether you are missing out on any important things or not so if for example you are getting third option and some important very good options are below that so in that case whenever in josa whenever third option allots below, below options are going to waste going to be waste like they will not consider for next rounds so for example let's say in the mock like you have filled 10 uh, like six choices four five six so you have got in mock round allotment you have got third option let's say so what happens in mock round is you have an option to change the choices so in you regular josa rounds you will not get the cho choices before the start of josa first round so they are going to lock your choices so you can't edit post that so 
in mock allotments you have the chance to edit the options so on third or like on like on 15th june 2 pm you got third option but you are like i want fourth and fifth option at any cost so if i don't want third if you are like preferring that what you can do is i'm just changing the order one two four five three six this is how i kept and this is how my choices got locked and in my josa round one let's say i got sixth option and I, I accepted the seat and paid the fees and put float and in the second round i got third option so if you see if in my earlier preference if my third option was here i would have missed out on again four five option right in the second round itself so if as i don't want that i want fourth fifth option to be preferred in place of third so i have put fourth fifth above the third so that's why in the second round when i got third option i mean earlier third option i am happy that if i put float there is a chance that they, i will they, i will get allotted with fourth and fifth so that's how you need to see based on your preference if you are missing out anything below you should never miss any important options below what you have allotted so please check that and you can make changes till uh, like 16th june 5 pm again and on 17th june afternoon 12:30 they are going to release one more round so just like same that same thing after you make changes so they will allot one more mock allotment on second uh, second mock allotment on 17th june 12:30 based on that again you can see if you want to make any changes still you have an option to change you have options till 5th 5 pm of 18th june so after that the ch uh, choices will get auto locked you need not to lock you still have an option to lock it it's up to you whether you want to lock it or not but even if you don't lock it the choices will get logged automatically okay after that 19 they will take the data to like they'll read all the data verify all the data and on 20th june 10 10 am you will be getting round one allotment seat of round one allotment so from here you can't change the options for example in my round one i got like as i said sixth option so now i have an option to put float slide freeze regarding that i'll make a separate video please wait for that but yeah you will have all that three options once you got seat allotted in order to move forward for any round next round even if you don't want that seat even if you want to put float slide okay you have to pay the fees if you didn't don't pay the fees before the deadline your seat will be cancelled okay so once you got allotted seat on 20th june 10 am so from then till 24th june you have the option to pay fee payment so there is a prepayment i already said from the from today itself from the registration point of view itself so you can pay start paying the fees from today for example you got a seat in round 1 from today till 24th june you have the option uh, to pay pay the fees if you don't pay the fees before that your seat will be cancelled and you will be out of the counseling you will not be considered for the next rounds you have to pay the fees so that's why in each and everything you you might be missing out few things so that's why mentorship helps you so if someone ha guide you right in a proper way saying updates what's the next what next process what's the next step you have to take so it will be easy for you right so if you consider mentorship it is going to help you a lot each and every rupee paid by you will be made worthy okay uh, so before uh, 20th june 5 pm this is resolution of fee payment this is second important thing and second new thing which they have started this year in the interest of students the reason is so there will be few people like if you see who have made payment attempt what is payment attempt is if you have clicked the seat pay seat acceptance fee but somehow your payment got declined or you are unable to pay you have one more extra day till 20th june 5 pm you have option to pay and 26 june 5 pm is last day to respond to query so this will be these things will be very similar in all the rounds uh, so what is last day to respond query is you have uploaded the documents you have put fly a float slide or freeze and you have paid the fees so in the uploaded documents or during the payment you have if you have made any mistake in all these three steps document upload fee payment putting freeze slide float if the verifying authority any any college who, for example if i get seat in nit allahabad in the first round so they will verify my documents so what are all the documents you have to upload regarding that i have made a separate video but still i am saying if you want to watch that i will leave that link in the description it has detailed explanation about all the documents you required during josa so coming to documents they will ask you your class 10th mark sheet class 12th mark sheet and medical certificate format Uh, so you have to print that and fill that how to do that there is a separate video on my channel please check and class i mean state board of eligibility so again you have to upload your class 12 because the state where you complete your class 12 is called state uh, eligibility state code of eligibility right uh, home state right 
uh, wherever whichever state you complete your class 12 that is your home state not the birth state from if for example i am from bihar and i have completed my class 12 in hyderabad in that case I, telangana will be my home state i will be having home state quota in nid varangal but not in nid partner so please understand that so that's why you have to upload your class 12 mark sheet in the state code of eligibility as well okay now uh, in that they have found some query so they have found some mistakes in your document upload or free payment or option selection okay i mean freeze float slide selection mostly it will be in the document only so they will give you a query raising that this is wrong please upload the right one so that you have to do by 26 june 5 pm if you don't do your seat will be cancelled you will be out of the counseling so please make sure you follow all the deadlines so that's why again i'm saying mentorship is very important they will help you in each and every part right so they will provide you with the deadlines they will explain you what is the deadline what you have to do in order to uh, don't get affected with the deadline right okay now second round after that they will again re-verify based on option whoever left the seats and whoever seat got cancelled based on whoever put float slide freeze you will get second seat allotment on 27th june 5 pm after that the same process last date to pay is 1st july 5 pm and the second july uh, 5 pm whoever clicked on seat pay seat acceptance fee but are unable to complete the fee payment they have till one more extra day so that is second july 5 pm so and third uh, july is last day to respond to query till here it is same from second round to last sixth round there is one more new thing is going to add that is not there in the first round is initiation of withdrawal of seat or exit from seat allocation process round two withdrawal query response okay so if you are someone after getting seat in round one or round two you have, you have paid the fees and you have everything you did but you have changed your mind and you want to withdraw whatever seat you, you got allotted you have an option to withdraw the seat or exit from the seat allocation exit from the counseling from 28th june 10 am to july 2nd 5 pm in the second round and uh, if you have any if they raise any query they will you have to rectify it before july 3rd uh, 5 pm so for that you have to uh, like uh, upload a de declaration saying that I, I am withdrawing with my due notice of my seat which got allotted in jose round one or round two so uh, there is no issue with anyone like that you have to up uh, like write a letter so there will be a format you have to download it fill your details keep signature keep take your parents or guardian signature and upload it then they will withdraw the seat and you, they'll exit you from the counseling from then you can't go forward right so that's this particular step is not there in round one so this is there from round two until round six okay uh, so one more thing so now seat acceptance fee is what i'm talking about continuously right so how much is the fees for SC ST PWD students it's 17,500 okay and for all others like general uh, OBC and CL uh, like general EWS you have to pay 35,000 so in this the 5,000 is a processing charges in this also 5,000 is a processing charges the remaining amount will be transferred to the college which you join after last round of counseling so it will be considered into your fees in, in this case 30,000 will be uh, sent to the college in this case 12,500 uh, will be sent to the college right and uh, for example in round one you have paid uh, you have got MNIT Allahabad and you have paid 35,000 or 17,500 according to your category and in round two it changed it to an IT Warangal let's say you need not to pay again whatever fee you paid once that is enough so at the end of the sixth round whatever college you join the fees will be sent to that college even if it's a different college from round one or round two or round three allotment when you have paid the fees okay don't worry about uh, i paid to that college will I, will the amount will be transferred or not don't worry all that okay so now the round three allotment will be on uh, 4th july 5 pm done and uh, so last day to pay is 8th july 5 pm and 9th july again resolution of fee like whoever attempts they have one more extra day and uh, initiation of withdrawal and the last day to respond to query is also on like 9th july 5 pm only and whoever want to withdraw their seat or exit from the counseling again 9th july 5 pm i forgot like i forgot this important uh, thing as well so this year there are three changes so two changes were already discussed and the fourth changes from this year there will be only five rounds of counseling in josa so uh, csap there will be two rounds that are separate and yeah so previously it used to be seven rounds when i participated in josa 
so say, then they have decreased to six rounds and now it's just five rounds of counseling so in the fourth round the fourth round allotment is going to come on 10th july uh, so seat allocation round 4 5 pm uh, 5 pm again so last day to fee payment is 15th july 5 pm and uh, till 16th they have one day extra for last day to respond to query resolution of fee payment issues and this is the last round before you want to exit or withdraw your iid option so this is the last round for iids before because like there won't be any csap for iits so if you want to exit or withdraw the seat from iits you have to do before fourth, fourth round itself after fifth round if you want to do in that case josa won't be taking in part you have to go to that iit and then withdraw the seat so if you want to withdraw in josa itself do it before uh, before fifth round starts or in the last date of uh, fourth, fourth round that is 16th july 5 pm and fifth round five this is the final round for iits the reason why they have mentioned it is because in csap you only have to attend for triple uh, it's nit's and gft is not for iit's so that's why they have mentioned it's the last round for iit's and the seat allotment will be happening on 17th july 5 pm last day to fee payment is 22nd july 5 pm and uh, 23rd july 5 pm is the like resolution of fee payment issues last day to respond to queries and final round for seat allocation of iit's so in this round also nit triple it gft allocation will happen don't worry about that so okay so for nit plus system guys so this is iits regarding iits that's the last one that's what we said and then they have to report at their uh, iits whatever iit they got iit bonus or let's say they have to check the website check the dates when they have to go there what all documents they have to carry and they have to complete that post fifth round so post 22nd july 5 pm they have to check the website and complete that process for nit plus system if you are someone from nit so who got allotted seat in nit so you have option till so initiation of withdrawal of seat from 17th to 22nd july 5 pm withdrawal query response if, if there is any query you have to clear that before 23rd july 5 pm fine and this is very important for nit play system uh, before uh, july 26th 5 pm you have to pay partial admission fees so you have to pay partial admission fee a partial admission fee would be around 40,000 for other categories and 20,000 for SC, ST and PWD categories. So in that whatever amount you pay here in the partial admission fee that will also be transferred to the college which you join at the end. So even if you put uh, like uh, want to put income certificate. So when you join that college you can put an income certificate and if they calculate that you have the amount paid by you is more than what you have to actually pay then they will refund the amount in that college after joining the college. Don't don't worry about how much pay fee you are paying here so all this fee whatever you are paying is very important even if you don't pay partial admission fee after paying seat acceptance fee after getting seat allotment your seat will be cancelled and you will be out of the counseling right please don't do any mistakes partial admission fee payment is also very important so that's why again i'm saying mentorship is very important we ha we have the experience of the counseling and we are going to help you right and uh, so if you are a pwd candidate so in the josa business rules so physical verification starts from first day of josa you can just see here guys uh, so this is the business rules physical verification will start from the first day of josa counseling choice choice filling 10th june and and continues throughout the counseling rounds of 2024 candidates are required to choose any of the reporting centers in any of iits for online or physical verification as applicable using the link available on josa 2024 portal so required to appear at the same time of verification for physical verification such candidates must also choose date as well as time forenoon or afternoon two days before appearing the physical so if you don't if you want to go after two days you have to book it today okay so that's very important so physical verification is should be done before that so for more details i'll attach this josa business rules also below please check that okay uh, so that's more about the josa counseling so after you pay the partial admission fee you have you have to check with the college official website for example you have got nid durgapur you have to check nid durgapur official website and see what is the next process and then uh, either you have an option to complete the admission process there and either you have an option to uh, like sit for csab counseling special round counseling so for that you have to again pay the fees directly if you have already paid partial admission fee in that case they will ask you to pay around two to three thousand as a processing fees if you didn't pay partial admission fee or seat acceptance fee in that case you have to pay forty thousand directly so that's a different thing we'll make separate video if you want to watch all that do subscribe the channel and yeah that's more about it and uh, finally uh, if you want to join the mentorship payment link in the description do check out and i'm saying whatever amount you are going to pay i'm going to make it worthy and that's it right i don't want to say more so believe in me like uh, we are believing in our experience right so that's it guys see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind